From the ferocious lions of the jungle to the giant snakes whose presence alone strikes fear, the wild is filled with terrifying predators and wild beasts that rule the jungle with an iron fist. But sometimes, these animals can find themselves on the wrong side of the food chain and at the mercy of the prey they feast on. In this video, we will take you through some of the most stupid things predators do as we check out some instances where predators are outsmarted by their prey. Mantis versus Hornet Mantis are known to be the apex predators of the insect world. These furious creatures can prey on any insect, no matter how large, and are even known to feed on small birds. Believe it or not, mantis are rarely ever intimidated by an opponent, as their body was designed as an arsenal, capable of decimating any opponent that chooses to launch an attack against them. Their menu includes insects like moths, beetles, crickets, spiders, flies, and of course wasps. While they firmly believe in their abilities, mantis usually avoid hornets, but this one must have mistaken the hornet for another insect, because it definitely didn't assess its chances of winning this fight. The issue is not that the hornet is too big for the mantis to feast on, but that the hornet itself is a ruthless killer, capable of taking on animals that are three times larger than itself. As the mantis tried to feast on the hornet, the predator eventually became prey, after the mantis lost the fight and subsequently became a meal for the ferocious hornet. Hornbill vs. Snake Watch what happens when a hornbill tries to swallow a snake whole. The hornbill, a bird that's easily recognizable with its distinctive bill, is an omnivore, which means its diet it feeds on both plants and animals. A hornbill's diet consists of fruits, insects, and even small animals. But this particular bird seemed to be in over its head as it attempted to snack on a snake. The snake was, however, too long. And even though it was definitely dead, the bird began to choke and almost lost consciousness before it was eventually able to regurgitate the snake. Usually, hornbills don't swallow their prey whole, so the unusual feeding mechanism employed by this particular bird is quite strange to say the least. Even when hornbills feed on snakes, they would usually nibble or peck at it in small pieces and not try to feast on the whole snake in one bite. Luckily for this bird, it was able to reverse its unusual feeding mechanism before it lost its life. Boomslang versus Shrike the snake in this video is known as a boomslang, and it is a very venomous species, which feeds on small animals, but can also make a meal out of bird eggs. Judging by its bloated appearance, this particular snake seems to have eaten a couple of eggs belonging to this bird. The bird must have checked its nest and found out that a couple of them had gone missing, prompting this brave revenge plan that contrasts the usual order in the animal kingdom. Naturally, this shrike would not attack a snake, although it is one of the most cruel creatures in the wild. Northern shrikes are also known as butcher birds, a name that accurately describes their horrific act of impaling their prey on thorns high up in the trees as a means of preserving the food and also a territory marker. So when this shrike found out that the snake had invaded its territory and eaten its eggs, it sprang to action and went into full beast mode, attacking the snake with all ferocity. Even though it definitely won't be able to kill the snake, the bird dealt heavy damage to it by pecking at its eyes, blinding it forever in a fit of rage. However, snakes don't essentially need their eyes to hunt for food, as they often depend on their many other senses in the search for sustenance, so it isn't really clear how much of a punishment this is. Regardless, the incredible level of violence this bird displays remains a rare example of the territorial instinct that dwells within every wild animal, and the extent they are willing to go to defend their habitat. Attack. Leopard versus Baboons This leopard probably believed it had found an easy meal after it encountered a group of baboons somewhere in the middle of a game reserve in South Africa. But as it turned out, these baboons would be no easy catch. Even though leopards are apex predators, they usually avoid baboons, because these animals are considered some of the most confrontational and aggressive animals that would not back down from a fight against even the most dangerous predators. They also don't usually walk alone, so fighting one is tantamount to fighting all of them. The leopard was really lucky to escape with its life, because falling into the hands of a troop of baboons can cost any predator its life. The baboons, who are also omnivores, will proceed to totally devour the predator without batting an eyelid. But luckily for this leopard, it lived to fight another day, although it escaped with some injuries. Not long after the encounter with the baboons, the same leopard can be seen attempting to eat a porcupine. Naturally, most predators avoid porcupines, and it's for good reason. Porcupines are some of the most problematic prey in the animal kingdom, with about 30,000 prickly quills on their back, 
Most smart predators would usually look for food elsewhere than take on a porcupine. These quills are tough, hardened hair with serrated edges, and once a porcupine senses danger, it raises the quills as a form of defense. These quills can even point backwards toward the threat, warning of dire consequences if it chooses to proceed with the attack. These quills are very sharp and can be extremely painful to remove, so we can't really say what exactly motivated this leopard to attack the porcupine. After several failed attempts to move close to the prey, the leopard finally gives up and goes its own way. Lion Cub Gets Stuck in a Buffalo This video was recorded during a visit to Kruger National Park in South Africa, and it captures a young lion cub who got stuck in one of the most embarrassing positions a lion should ever be found. No one can really explain how the cub got its head stuck up a buffalo's end, but judging by the reaction of the other members of the pride, it seems the cub was naturally troublesome, so no one really paid attention to it. The lion cub can be seen struggling with its paws and even flipping on its back trying to get out of the awkward situation. At one point, the cub even appeared to run out of breath and even passed out, which was a very dangerous spot to be. He could suffer from hypoxia, which was a condition where the tissues and organs don't receive enough oxygen, leading to certain irreversible changes. Although the footage doesn't show the moment when the cub eventually got out of the situation, when people arrived the next day, the cub was no longer there, which meant it was probably able to break free. Thankfully, there was no hyena around, or the story would have turned out quite differently. Hyenas are notorious for always targeting rogue and lone predators, especially their cubs, attacking them not just for food, but to nip the future predators in the bud, preventing the cubs from growing up and hunting them. Buffalo vs. Crocodile There are very few animals in the wild ready to pick a fight with a crocodile. It's tough to hide and its ferocious attitude makes it a menacing terror to the weak and feeble animals of the jungle. When this crocodile decided to attack this buffalo, it probably didn't consider the fact that there were two of them. And in situations like this, the other buffaloes wouldn't just stand there and watch his friend get devoured. In a life-saving gesture, the buffalo launched at the crocodile, throwing it into the air twice and tearing open its tough skin with unforgiving horns. It seemed as though this crocodile had met its match. The buffaloes eventually escaped the scene with only minor injuries, but as for the crocodile, it might probably have to nurse that wood for a couple of months. Falcon versus Roosters Roosters can be very dangerous, especially when defending their territories. They have very sharp and strong claws, exceptionally strong leg bones, and a level of aggression that scares even humans. Even though they are domesticated animals, roosters never back down from a fight and would face any predator head-on without any fear. This falcon was trying to make an easy meal out of this fowl, but it got the surprise of its life after a rooster appeared out of nowhere to attack the falcon after it swooped down to pick up the bird. The rooster instantly switched to attack mode, running straight at the falcon, and eventually chased it away from the scene. We can't really figure out what motivated the rooster to take on such a daring mission, but there's no denying that the decision to take on a bird of prey was a very deadly act that would have led to a very different ending if things had gone the other way. Python versus Antelope Pythons are some of the most powerful predators in the animal kingdom. With their characteristic brute force and remarkable ability to swallow any prey of any size, these creatures stand at the top of the food chain with very few predators willing to challenge their supreme reign. But sometimes, pythons can take on certain animals that will turn out to be pretty challenging to swallow. Like this snake, who found itself in a fix after the horns of the antelope it was trying to feast on pierced through its skin. What was supposed to be a beautiful day turned deadly for this python, as the horns had penetrated deep into its skin, causing a deadly injury the snake couldn't get out of. As it tried to break free, it only made the situation worse, as with every motion, every wiggle and twitch, the horns expanded the wound even further. The python eventually died from its injuries, a classic example of a predator becoming prey. Feasting on large animals can be quite challenging for pythons. Sometimes these snakes get so full that they can't even move. Some pythons get so bloated after a large feast that they have to stay on a spot for a very long time without moving. In some extreme cases, the python may even have to regurgitate the meal before its body system becomes normal again. Centipede versus Grasshopper Mouse 
Centipedes are known for their powerful venomous bite, capable of incapacitating even large prey like mice. But today, it seemed to have taken on an opponent that wouldn't budge, even after it has become a victim of its toxins. Naturally, mice are part of the centipede's diet. But when it comes to tangling with a grasshopper mouse, most predators would rather steer clear. This ferocious animal does not back down from a fight and would keep resisting a predator's attack until its very last breath. Grasshopper mice have built a reputation for their aggressive behavior towards venomous animals like scorpions, centipedes, and even tarantulas, and will make a meal out of these creatures, owing to the fact that their bodies have developed a form of resistance against the toxins that would naturally kill other animals of its size. They also feed on small animals like snake, rodents, and even small lizards, so taking on this centipede was an easy feat, and it didn't take long before the supposed predator became a prey, and the centipede succumbed to the ferocious attacks by the grasshopper mice. This is a classic case of when the hunter becomes the hunted, exemplifying the complexity of the roles several species play in the wild as they struggle for survival. Polar Bear vs. Walrus Polar bears are some of the most fearsome predators in their territory. Although they may look cute and cuddly, they can be very aggressive, especially when hunting. They are extremely strong, with teeth capable of penetrating the thickest skin. Although both male and female polar bears are capable of taking on walruses, but the young ones generally avoid this type of prey, as hunting them can turn out to be a bit problematic. Like this young polar bear, who probably thought it had found an easy meal when it encountered this troop of walruses, but what appeared to be a simple hunt turned out as an embarrassment for the polar bear. The predator launched five to six attempts to make a meal out of the walrus, but each time he was met with failure. The walrus's skin was too tough for the bear's teeth, and it also lacked the strength, weight, and experience necessary to perfect the art of hunting walruses. Even older polar bears usually have a hard time hunting these magnificent beasts and would often devise clever means to incapacitate the prey before moving close to finish the hunt. Believe it or not, pole bears have been recorded throwing heavy objects at their prey from high up in the cliffs. This way they don't have to do too much work during the hunt because in case you haven't realized, it's pretty hard to bite into a walrus's skin. Snow Leopard vs. Mountain Goat Snow leopards were created with exceptional skills, which makes them some of the most remarkable hunters in the wild. They can run fast, possess a fascinating camouflage ability, and they can even scale mountains, chasing their prey to dizzying heights. But their climbing skills are novel compared to the mountain goat. These gravity-defying creatures can survive in the most precarious conditions, and they seem to always try to challenge the odds, venturing into mountain heights that no other animal would dare to climb. So, when this snow leopard decided to chase this mountain goat up a cliff, it probably didn't calculate its chances well. These goats are always at home at these heights, as they are naturally equipped with special hooves that help them maintain a firm grip on the rocky terrains, saving them from fatal falls. But for the snow leopard, this was a precarious journey of no return. While trying to make a meal out of the goat, it eventually found itself in this sticky situation, unable to move forward or go back the way it came. We can't really tell how the predator was able to get out of this fix, but there's a chance that it would be able to make it out alive, although that depends on how high the mountain is. Snow leopards possess a special ability that allows them to maneuver their bodies while in the air, enabling them to land on their feet, minimizing the damage caused by the fall. These felines also possess a flexible spinal column and powerful hind legs. The absence of a working clavicle, coupled with the small weight, allows the snow leopard to fall from great heights without sustaining considerable damage. Rattlesnake vs. Mouse How hungry does a rattlesnake have to be to swallow a mouse stuck in a mouse trap? Well, maybe as hungry as this particular snake, found in the town of Española in New Mexico, with a mouse trap stuck in its stomach. The rectangular shape of the trap could easily be outlined in the snake's stomach, as rescuers worked hard to remove the trap. Rattlesnakes have really flexible jaws, which allows them to eat things that are way bigger than their head without breaking a sweat, but they don't usually feed on mouse traps, so this was a peculiar situation. Thankfully, after a life-saving surgery, the trap was eventually removed, and the snake will definitely think twice before swallowing another rat trap next time. Cheetah versus Giselle. Although cheetahs are not the biggest cats in the wild, they are known to be the fastest, a factor that plays a huge role in their hunting habits. But sometimes, 
Speed is never enough, especially when faced with one of the fastest prey, the gazelle. As the hunt continued, the cheetah latched onto the rear end of the gazelle, but holding on seemed practically impossible, owing to the size and strength of the gazelle. The cheetah also gets some help from its cub, but the gazelle is insistent on escaping the grips of the predator, and with each passing second, it becomes more and more difficult to bring the prey down. As the gazelle moved with anger and sheer determination, it was finally able to stab the cheetah in the midsection, causing serious injury to the predator. Although the gazelle also sustained some injuries, its wounds were nothing compared to the damage done by the gazelle horn. Eventually, the gazelle escapes from the grip of the cheetah, leaving the predator both hungry and seriously wounded. With the level of injury sustained by the cheetah, hunting would be practically impossible, and she and her cubs may face an uncertain future. Cheetah vs. Impala Sometimes surviving the grips of a predator requires a solid strategy, rather than brute force. This cheetah probably thought it had secured an easy meal for its offspring, but this particular impala seemed determined not to die. As the cheetah continues to launch on the impala, it gives the cheetah a hell of a fight, and it almost seems as though it would overpower the cheetah with its rapid movement. The cheetah then grabbed the impala by the neck and tried suffocating it, while the cubs watched patiently, learning the art of hunting from their seasoned mother. After a while, the impala stopped struggling, succumbing to the unyielding strength of the cheetah. Seeing that the impala was dead, the cheetah dropped it on the floor, and the cubs approached the scene to begin devouring their catch. But then, something absolutely dramatic happened. The dead impala leapt to its feet and began running as fast as it could, much to the surprise of the cheetah and its cubs. Apparently, the impala was faking its own death, so it can be able to catch the cheetah in a moment of distraction and finally escape from the deadly scene. Next time, this mama cheetah will make sure that dinner is fully done. For now, she and her cubs will have to go hungry for the rest of the day. That is, unless she's able to lay her hands on another prey who probably didn't go to acting school. Before we go on with more clips showcasing the stupid things predators do, let's check out today's subscribers pick. Usually snakes and tortoise keep a safe distance from each other in the wild. Tortoises can be quite problematic as a prey, as their touch shell makes it difficult to attack them, especially once they retreat into the shells. This snake seemed to have gotten in over its head after an attempt to feast on a tortoise turned into a fight for its life. While trying to strike the head of the tortoise, which is its most vulnerable spot, the snake's head got stuck in the shell, putting him in a life-and-death situation. Luckily for the snake, it was able to finally free itself from the terrifying trap and sprinted away from the scene. It will probably think twice now before attacking another tortoise. Share your thoughts about this fascinating clip with us in the comments. Now let's get back to the video. Cheetah vs. Gemsbok Antelope when this group of cheetahs discovered an injured gemsbok which may have escaped being eaten by a lion, they believed they had found an easy meal. Moving stealthily close to the calf, parading around it to analyze the situation before springing into action. But nothing could have prepared the big cats for the surprise attacks launched by the calf's mother, who had been watching the unfolding situation from a distance. Gemsbok possess these powerful and sharp horns, which are capable of maiming and killing predators of any size so they are generally feared by most predators in the wild. With unfettered ferocity in her eyes, the mother attacks them with her sharp horns, sending the cheetahs on their heels and away from the scene. What appeared to be an opportunity to feast on an easy kill turned out to be a deadly trap that could have resulted in serious injuries for the cheetahs had the Gemsbok horn found its mark. After chasing away the predators, the Mama Gemsbok checked her calf to determine if it had sustained any injuries during the attack and immediately turned around again to chase after the cheetahs, who were probably stunned at the brazen courage of the animal. Next time, they'll probably make sure no one else is around before charging towards a seemingly helpless prey. Wildebeest vs. Lion Most lions love hunting wildebeests. They are relatively easy to catch, although they can sometimes put up a fight, causing serious injuries to their predators. In this clip, two lionesses take on a wildebeest trying to pin it down, but the wildebeest would not go down without a fight. In the brawl that ensued, the wildebeest was able to hook one of its horns on the lioness's leg, and it was game on from there. The wildebeest continued stabbing deeper and deeper into the leg, causing serious injuries to the apex predators, even as the other lioness continued 
to sink its teeth into the flesh of the wildebeest, this prey was determined not to be on the menu today, and eventually, it sent one of the lions flying into the air before it was slammed to the ground. The lionesses ended up running away from the wildebeest, losing their food for the day and lots of valuable energy in the process. In this second clip, the wildebeest demonstrates its brute strength, refusing to back down from a fight after it was attacked by a lioness. After a little tossing and turning, the lioness found itself in a precarious position, as the wildebeest continued to slam its horn into the apex predator, dealing maximum damage to its midsection. Eventually, the lioness had to escape with its life and whatever was left of its dignity. Although lions have perfected the art of hunting large prey like wildebeests, these clips serve as perfect examples that sometimes prey can take on a level of aggression that would even astound the predators themselves. Lion vs. Buffalo Lions are capable of taking down any prey no matter the size, especially when they're working together. But taking down a buffalo can sometimes pose a great challenge even for the most seasoned hunter in the pride. This footage taken in Kruger National Park, South Africa, captures a lone lion as it tried to take down this massive buffalo. Initially, two other lions had attacked the buffalo, but their efforts ended in futility. The buffalo was already tired from the first attack, so this other lion had an easier chance of making a meal out of eat. After several tense moments of biting and scratching, the buffalo seemed to get weaker by the minute, and it seemed as though the lion had won this round. But then, two other buffaloes from the herd came onto the scene to investigate what was going on. In a daring escape that definitely deserves an award for heroism, one of the buffaloes launched at the lion, picked it up with its powerful horns, and sent it flying into the air. It then moved towards to Predator again and repeated the same attack, ultimately sending the lion running for its life. Surprisingly, all the animals made it out alive, although the lion may actually stay hungry for a bit of time while it nurses its wound and a bruised ego. Yak versus Snow Leopard In this video, this snow leopard tries to snatch a baby yak from the herd, and while it seemed to have picked the appropriate prey to attack, the other yaks weren't just going to sit there and watch the baby get devoured. Even though the snow leopard had sunk its teeth into the baby yak's neck, the mother continued to headbutt the leopard, throwing hit after hit at the predator until it finally let go of the baby and sprinted away. Thankfully, the baby yak didn't sustain serious injuries, and the snow leopard will have to take on a prey its own size. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.